And it was a chaotic Victoria Day scene in Oakville last night. Halton police responding to calls in the Bronte and Lakeshore area for a large group of youths using fireworks carelessly. Simone Gavros is on scene where the incident took place. Uh, Simone, what more can you tell us? Yes, Taz, you were here on location here in Oakville, where police say they received calls here at Lakeshore Road West and East Street for the large crowds of youth in the area. And this resulted in a large police presence, one arrest and several tickets. Debris remains on the side of the road following a night of chaos in Oakville. It was more than just a firework show. It was, uh, it was a little crazy for a bit. Cameron Stubbins witnessed the commotion last night when numerous police cruisers arrived on scene at Lakeshore Road West and East Street after responding to multiple calls of youths gathering in the area. It just kept growing in numbers. More and more teens started to show up. And uh, yeah, that's when you started to really see the heavy police presence. There was probably 15 cruisers on Lakeshore. Police say an estimated 200 to 300 youths were in the area reportedly firing fireworks in the air and at each other, something that Stubbins saw. There was a lot of like cherry bombs and things like this thrown and unfortunately thrown at a lot of innocent bystanders, cars. While on scene, police say multiple people were issued tickets during the commotion and a 15 year old was arrested and charged with assault with a weapon. At some point, uh, a 15 year old fired uh, some sort of firework at our officers. Uh, or an officer, um, that person was arrested, has been charged with assault with a weapon. Locals in the area heard the crowds on the street. There was a lot of kids. Um, there's always a lot of kids down here, especially during a long weekend and when there's fireworks involved. They were just putting it out at the park, putting it on the slides, throwing them everywhere at each other. So obviously this is uh, dangerous. Out of precaution, Stubbins says he stayed in front of his shop during the incident to monitor the crowds that he says were being dispersed towards Bronte Road. I don't know if there was going to be any intent to vandalize any local businesses, but I definitely wanted to make sure that we were, you know, showing our presence that, you know, nothing will be happening to our spot. And locals tell me that the whole incident wrapped up around 10 p.m. and police say that there were no reports of any injuries or damages.